okay. Okay, this has started to kind of annoy me. Uh, I know I'm not on Overwatch channel, uh, so if you don't play Overwatch, this probably doesn't make any sense to you. However, I wanted to talk about the Genji change that happened. Uh, the change was that his alt charge was increased by 15%, so it takes him longer to build blade, and his fire rate was uh, taken down to 0.68 or something like that. Basically, it's 0 0.07 seconds faster to shoot your, sh your shurikens. Um, now, playing Genji feels nice. It feels smoother to throw shurikens. Before, it would kind of feel like you would throw shurikens and then there was just like a pause between when you should be shooting and it, it just felt really weird. But now they made it smooth. They made it feel nice and more responsive. But actually playing this hero is the worst Overwatch experience I've ever had in my entire life. He is so bad, it blows my mind. How are you gonna have this hero, who's a blade bot? I'm not gonna lie, he does nothing without blade. Even then, he does nothing without nano blade. You can dry blade if you're cleaning up kills, or you can dry blade if the other team is brain dead bad. But if you dry blade mid team fight, it is a suicide button. You just kill yourself. You literally just die if you hit Q without nano. If you hit Q, with nano then you become god him become god himself and begin the rapture because of busted this nano blade is and you kill everyone if you've got good mechanics which is just garbage in my opinion that is trash why make him shit just super super shit and make him busted with nano it is ridiculous so yeah at this point i can dive back lanes i can get a kill, I can spam tanks, I can dominate high ground, I can play the off angles, I'll, I'll deal with her fucking, I'll harass, it doesn't matter, okay, I could be playing perfect Genji, okay, and I'll be at 80% by the time that they have beat Ortrex, <laughs> like, hold the fuck on, hold on, hold on a minute, what, so, so my entire ultimate, that's already countered by literally every single hero single hero in the fucking game. Literally every hero has an escape or a way to deal with this fucking blade. And I have 200 HP, so if I do get hit by one of those things, I'm killed immediately, right? So not only that, I'm also having to deal with the fact that every single fight, they're gonna have trance before I have blade, which is ridiculous, okay? Before, you could build blade and you'd be like 10% or so of a he ahead of a good Zen player if you're both active, okay. And this was a matchup that was very skillful in the way that it was. If you were a very good Zen and you were stopping this Genji, you would have Trance first. If you were a cracked Genji, you would have Blade first, right? And it it was rewarding to get that ult just before their defense ults were up because you were doing enough. Now, no matter how good you are. The chances of you having blade before they have those defensive ults is almost zero. The only way that happens is if they are fucking atrociously bad, which shouldn't be a factor. I shouldn't have to rely on the other team being terrible for my kit to work. That is trash, okay? If I'm being deadly honest, now my opinion's trash because I don't play this game a lot, but please, for the love of God, bring back the old Genji. Like the Genji 10 months ago Genji, 30 damage, you know, all that, but either get rid of Nano Blade and buff his base blade by like 10 damage, so he isn't necessarily killing things faster, it's just he doesn't have to, uh, the 250 HP targets, he, those, I mean, those piss me off when I'm bleeding, they're not necessarily difficult to deal with, but 10 extra damage is just quality of life, it's not a big deal. Anyway, that's a trash take. Just in general, you can get rid of Nano Blade and buff his regular blade. You can bring back his old base kit and nerf his ult more. But right now, he is just a blade bot. He does nothing but blade. That's all he can do. If you are killing people with Genji's base kit, then you are smurfing. That is just how it is. If you are genuinely in, if you're in like masters or grandmasters and you're killing people with his base kit, 
then you are Shadar or you are Necros. Because honestly, every single matchup in this game is almost always lost when you're playing Genji. Unless the other team sucks. There, there's, there's, of course there's circumstances where you can jump in the back lane and you just have the advantage and you win fights. That's just fights that you're going to win no matter what. But in the grand scheme of things, Genji's actual DPS ability is just trash. Your only job is to sit on the high ground and make sure no one goes up there and just fucking left click spam into the back of a tank or dash through them when you're exiting or right click a tank. It's just boring. It's just super fucking boring. Because if you try and go for those 1v1s, then you're flashbanged, you're frozen, you're anti by Anna, you're slept, Bap throws immortality, Winston's beaming you, Zarya's fucking beaming you, and you just die instantly. Like, if you're actually trying to get any value out of this fucking hero, you just die. It's stupid. I honestly don't know how they're going to fix him. I still want them to get rid of Nanoblade, because although it's extremely uh, mechanical, uh, and the way that it takes a lot of skill to perform Nanoblade, you can be really fucking bad and make this thing work. Nanoblade is ridiculously powerful, and I think it's the reason they're afraid to buff him more, is because if they buff him more, then they buff Nanoblade too, and Nanoblade's already busted, so they have to fix Nanoblade if they're gonna buff him again. Or they could keep Nanoblade, like it doesn't actually really matter, it's just the point is, is if Nanoblade is in the game, they can't buff him. Because if they do, then Nanoblade will just dumpster every single team, every single fight, and it will not be a fun game. So please, for the love of God, buff this fucking hero, because he is so bad. How you can have people in this game, like McCree, just dumpstering people with 225 hp 70 damage a shot he just dominates close range he dominates mid range and he just fucking destroys everybody in two shots but you have genji who does fuck all and he's nerfed again is unbelievable even doomfist listen i'm i'm not gonna say doomfist is that good because he's really not that good but he's a lot fucking better than genji is Almost every scenario where Genji works, a Doomfist will do it better. Unless you're just dominating high ground, which the Genji's better at, you may as well just pick Doomfist, because this fucking hero doesn't do anything. You do so little damage, you can't kill anything, all of your combos suck, unless it's like one Zen with half HP three years away from his team. Half HP three years away from his team then you'll probably die, you know, because he is so shit. I am begging you to fix this fucking hero.